Hey everyone, it's Mark from Cricket Bat Info and I just thought I'd take you through a, a handle video that I did. I, this was actually a request from somebody. I did the whole filming and then I really wasn't happy with how I narrated at the time. So I decided, well, what I'm going to do is talk about it during the video. If you're not familiar, I've now got a Discord server. So I'll leave the link in the channel. There's always comments going on here. And we got 28, 29 members so far. Uh, it's up to you. Uh, it's just a live chat thing. There's different channels, uh, different types of bats. People are posting pictures of their different cricket bats, uh, which is pretty cool. And then there's a general chat where people are just generally uh, chatting and showing pictures of bats as well. Hey, it's a cricket bat channel, so what do you expect? Uh, so that's the Discord server. Friend Jamie from Cricket, uh, he bought in his whatever this is, Kookaburra something. It's a $19 uh, Rebel bat. And what we're going to do is as a request to the page somebody said could you do this video so this is basically removing the binding replacing it with the zinc oxide tape uh, which is what i'm holding there um, you can buy that pretty cheap i think i've got four rolls for 20 bucks off ebay that's tennis racket overgrip uh, which is a shamus material and the overgrip oh, i think i'll buy them for six for four dollars or something or less than that actually um, so that is actually cashmere timber but it's been Bleach so hard by Kookaburra that I actually was mistaken when I was looking at it. Anyway, as I wind back the grip, I can see here the bindings are already coming off. So if I bought, a, if somebody sent me a bat to review and and it came off like that, you can see the tape hanging off that. Um, I would probably fix that for them anyway. So this video, you're going to see me tying off binding, uh, removing it, all that type of stuff. So I'm going to fast forward and you'll see here we've got my little homemade lathe uh, which is basically three bits of timber with two corners hopefully holding that at 90 degrees and just some um, big screws there which i've uh, filed off the tops so that things spin rather than dig into the wood um, sometimes i put a bottle top on the end to stop it from working its way in uh, I've taken the top of this thing off. So what does that say? That's a rebel player's shape. Okay, yep, whatever. We're going to put that in the lathe and we're going to spin it around. It's going to fall off a couple of times. You can see there we've got a red rubber insert on those handles. Uh, the more expensive ones they use now use cork. So, And I actually cut it at this point and saved that last bit of binding because I want to use that to bind over my tabs after the zinc oxide tape has gone on. This is just a little thing on types of things you can do to clean off that glue. So I've got there a spoke shave and I think I bring in a metal ruler with the sharp edge of a metal ruler. You can scrape off that rubbish, falls off the lathe a few times. In the end I get a bit sick of that to get rid of the lathe. And you can see there now I'm using a bit of um, belt sander belt which is cut in half and just going over it with that because um, I didn't want to move the camera I didn't put the bat actually in the, the vise I should have done it a different way so there we go now I'm using a rasp and just generally we're just trying to get rid of the glue um, so we've got something for the tape to stick onto. So we put the bat back in the lathe and I'm going to cut the top of that zinc oxide tape so that it's on an angle. So you can see that little angle there and bind from the top down. Not the best job because normally I wouldn't do this in a lathe or this homemade contraption. And you can see there I'm just overlapping halves all the way down. You can go less than that. I think grey nickels do um, maybe two thirds they leave overlap the last third uh, some people have said that this actually creates too much stiffness in the handle at the end you can see there that it's still got whip in it and it's this is a cheap bat so there's definitely going to be uh, whip in the handle probably losing heaps of power but he's actually raving about it since i did this so you can see this i wind all the way down when i get to the end i put another cut in it and yeah that's it that's done and now we're going to bind the 
top here. So I put a little loop in and then we bind over the top. I've put some glue down. I've got that tight bond ultimate glue that you can see there. Uh, not the best angle there. Pull that tight and then bind underneath it and just pull it to the side to try and correct it once it's got some tension on it. That will start to hold. So when you get to about 10 strands, you can pull it through. At some point here, the whole thing falls off down the bottom. There it goes. And pull the loop through, which is that part there. And just pull that through. It comes off the lathe again. And now we keep bonding. More glue goes on. That glue's got a particularly brown look. You can see that it's like a sandy look in it. Really good quality too. So what we're doing is we're just binding over the willow tabs where the um, splice is fitted. So it just prevent them from uh, flexing and breaking and cracking through the shoulders. Just to add some strength to that area there. It doesn't really matter if the handle flexes. That's what it's designed to do. Um, and we'll get to the end of this. And you can see here I'm going to pull that tight cut that off and that's our handle binded okay so I add a bit of extra glue okay so we've actually let that glue dry and we've come back the next day um, so you can see here what we're going to do is we're going to use now the overgrip so it's got this plastic it's a very stiff plastic it has no given it whatsoever so you take that part off that's to hold it down at the end of the wrapping and then it has that type of cut in it um, that I used on the zinc oxide tape much better quality than I did um, so that's got a little bit of stickiness at the edge of it and we put the overgrip on from the bottom up whereas we always put the zinc oxide from the top of the handle down so it's got a little piece of sticky thing there to hold it in place Put that on and then you start binding and just slightly overlapping it just to see if you can get it all the way up. If you overlap too heavy then you won't reach the top. So I think I correct it and come back through. Yep. And you can see I'm just doing that bottom few millimetres and I'm pulling it fairly tight. That was the other thing when I put the zinc oxide on I did pull that fairly tight too. Um, so there's tension in it. There you go I wasn't happy with that so I started again and we'll just fast forward there you go I'm halfway up the handle there a lot of people get worried about those overlaps you can't feel them and they actually compress down uh, under the handle uh, the, sh the chamoose material chamois, chamois material that it's made of gives it a soft feel and it actually helps to stop the grip from slipping the grips don't slip on this uh, once it's on so when we get to the top we've got this tape that you just wind over the top but I'm going to put extra uh, black tape on it anyway. That's just the regular uh, grip tape that you put on and I always put some down the bottom as well just to hold that part on too. And I'm putting a bit of tension on there just so it doesn't move. Put the grip on and that sucker's not going anywhere. That's the Handle that uh, overgrip adds about 0.3 of an ounce. Normally, binding itself is about 0.7. So, probably with the overgrip and the tape binding, you're probably looking at the same weight of glued binding. Uh, so, there's no weight gain. Um, not like if you put a second grip on, which would be uh, one and a half ounces normally. I'm just testing out the flex there just to show you that it's still flexing. Obviously, cheap bat, cheap handle. Um, a lot of flex in it so there you go that's a, a video uh, that i've done for you uh, showed you the discord server at the front wishing everybody a happy new year hope you had a great christmas uh, if that's what you celebrate and um, yeah look forward to seeing you all in the new year let me know if you like this sort of format it was filmed on the on the phone and uh, yeah look forward to supplying you with the next video this one's pretty much been narrated live so Good luck to everybody and uh, hope to chat to you soon on Discord or on the Facebook page. Ciao.